Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingerSlyShop.com. Bringing another tying video this week, and this week I'm tying a CDC Emerger. And uh, you can fish it as a dry fly, you can fish it as an Emerger, Just pull it under the water and swing it as a wet fly. It'll work there too in the film. So, uh, kind of a really versatile fly if you're going to fish it as a dry fly. I suggest, I highly suggest high and dry floatant. Um, we sell it in the shop. It's the best stuff out there for CDC. You just wet your finger with it, rub it into your finger, and then brush the fly onto it. Don't soak the fly with it. You want to brush it onto the CDC fibers, and that'll float really well. Um, CDC, for me, a CDC dry fly, pressured fish, I seem to do better on the pressured fish with the CDC fly. The part I don't like about them is they soak up all the slime and stuff off the fish and you don't get a whole lot of fish out of one fly. You, you know, you put it back in your box and fish it another day, but it's going to soak up and get damaged. But we've had days where that worked. You know, once they take the dry fly and it gets damp and you can't keep it floating, we'll swing it under the water and catch fish swinging it too. This is a perfect pattern for that. You know, once it gets soaked and won't float, just swing her downstream and, and hit, the sw hit the swing with it. It'll work. Um, really cool pattern, not that hard to tie, and it looks great. So here you're going to see a picture of it and then the material list to tie it. Okay, here we see our CDC Emerger in the vise. Um, nice looking pattern. Let's get into tying it. For a hook, I'm using a Daiichi 1170. This one's a size 14. Definitely tie it smaller, tie it larger if you want. And uh, for a thread, I'm using some Semperfly Nano Silk. This is 12 watt black. And I'm going to start that on there about two hook eyes behind the eye. And Trim off that and we're going to wrap it back to the back and put on her tail. For a tail I'm using some EP fibers, um, trigger point fibers. These are March Brown and I'm just going to use a very small amount, only about 10 maybe 15 fibers there. And I'm going to wrap that off, stick it out the back like that. And then I want the length of this tail to be about the length of the body of the fly there. So we're going to trim it off and then I don't like it to be square on the back so I'll just take and make a couple little trims around it just to make it uneven on the back. Make it look a little bit nicer. Next thing I'm going to put on is a piece of turkey by it quills. This one's brown olive and you're going to use the thick side of the feather, the fat side, not the by it's on the short by it's but the long pieces. So I'm just going to pull one of them off and I'm going to tie it onto my hook. I'm going to trim it a little bit, get it back a little bit into the meaty part of the bayet there. And we're just going to tie this on. Now they're kind of brittle or you don't want to pull too hard on them or it will break. So. What I like to do is put just a small dab of super glue on here and spread it out over my thread wraps. That helps hold it together as I wrap it forward. And I'm going to start wrapping this forward. Now this by it, it has like an L shape to it. And I want to go the other way with it. Oops. It has like an L shape to it and you want the L, the bottom, the leg part of the L to stand out. And you want it towards the back as you wrap it forward. So you make a nice rib section. And we're just going to rib this forward over that super glue, locking it in place until we get it up there. To about that two eye length away part. And then we're going to wrap it off. So we're going to wrap that off there and cut off the excess. 
Now we have the body done on our fly. So the next thing we're going to do is put on the wing. For the wing on this one, I'm using some wood duck CDC feathers, wood duck colored CDC feathers. I'm using three of them and I'm clumping them all together. You could use puffs if you wanted to, but if you don't use puffs for this size fly, it's going to take about three of them. And where I want them to come is right to where the tail starts there. So I'm going to lay that right on there where it's right above that tail. And I'm going to switch fingers and I'm going to wrap this down. Make a couple nice tight wraps on there. And trim off the butts. This one hanging. There we go. So once we get that on there then and it's centered on top where you want it going to smooth this out here and make a nice taper. So now I got my wing on my fly. Now we're going to put the thorax on the fly. For the thorax we're going to do a dubbing loop with some CDC and dubbing. And uh, here's how I'm going to make that part. Alright guys, this is how I make my wing. I'm using the CDC feather. I'm going to take one of the CDC feathers, I'm going to strip backwards from tip to butt and make them CDC fibers stand straight off. You can see they stand, go straight off the, the uh, feather shaft there. I'm going to do that with two feathers. But the tip, or tip to butt I mean, make them stand straight off. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of dubbing, and I mean a tiny bit of dubbing. The amount of dubbing that if you drop it, it's going to flutter to the ground. And I'm going to spread it out the length of that feather shaft. And then I'm just going to lay it right on top of the feather on one side. So you can see I have dubbing on one side and none on the other. And then I'm just going to sandwich that dubbing in between the two feathers. So there I have feather dubbing feather like that. And then we're going to put this in our CDC clamp. So I'm going to put that in the CDC clamp like that, and you can see how I got like, I don't know, a quarter inch between the feather shaft and the clamp, and I'm just going to come in with my scissors and trim really close, as close as I can to that feather shaft. Try not to cut through the feather shaft, that way you can use the feather for your next fly. And there you see I have just the butt section sticking out of my clamp, and that's ready to make our dubbing loop. All right, now that I have it in the clamp, I'm going to make a dubbing loop. So I'm going to take my Swiss multi-tool, CDC multi-tool. Got to unwind the last one off of here, just a second. And I'm going to put it on my thread. So I'm going to back this out here. Use any kind of dubbing loop tool you have. I really like this Swiss multi-tool. I have to do a video on using it sometime. But we're going to make a loop out of it. Once we have our loop made, we pick up our clamp with our CDC and dubbing in it, and we're going to split our thread and put it right in that split thread. So take our the butt section of our CDC, put it right in my loop, and put it in there. Now you can see my thread there with the butts just sticking out. That's where I want it. And I'm just going to take... Give that a twist and make my dubbing brush. This is nice and buggy, you can see there, that's great. It's going to make a nice leggy thorax on here. So we're just going to wrap it. As I wrap it, I want to stroke these fibers back so they lay back and look like legs and hackle on here. Just keep making it nice and going the way we want. And then once we get it up to that eye, just going to tie it off. I like to make two or three wraps there. Trim that and then pull all my fibers back and make a nice clean head on here. And then we're just, oops, and we're just going to whip finish. My thread popped off there, that's fine. I'm gonna clean that up just a little bit. There we go. And put another whip finish. A lot of times with my dry flies, if I get a 
you know, two nice good whip finishes on there. I don't put head cement on it. I just fish it. I figure I'm probably going to lose it before that thread comes off. So now I'm just going to take, tease this around a little bit. If I have any long CDC fibers or something, I'm going to pluck them with my fingers. Other than that, that looks pretty good. That's going to ride right in that film real nice and be a nice attractor. So there you go, the CDC Emerger. All right, guys, hope you like that pattern. Not that hard to tie, and, and it looks cool. So those turkey bite quills, I've been wanting to use them in a video for a while. I haven't used them for a while. Um, they're the ones that we substitute the Condor substitute for um, the Cinnamon Toast Betas that Kevin Compton made famous. Uh, you know, that's a great olive pattern, blue-winged olive pattern in our area in that brown olive color. Uh, I've tied this using i've tied this pattern using olive colored turkey bite quills and it works great too so mess around experiment with what color works this is a generic style pattern like most of my flies are so just change the color change the wings to match the insects in your area have fun tying and experimenting guys if you need any of the materials like always please go to our website at wholesingersflyshop.com and we'd be more than happy to help you out with anything you need so Thanks for watching, guys. Until I bring you another video next week, I'm Sean Holsinger.